In this section, I'm going to teach you how to insert, update, and delete data. Before we get started, let's have a closer look at our customer's table. So click on this middle icon to open this table in the design mode. What you see here might look a little bit intimidating at first, but trust me, this is actually so easy. And in this tutorial, I'm going to explain exactly what we have in these columns. So on the left side, you can see the column name. Next to that, you can see the data type for each column. So our customer ID column can only accept integer values. Integers are whole numbers, like one, two, three, four, and so on. They don't have decimal points. First name is a var char, which is short for variable character. Now here in parentheses, you can see 50. That basically means in this column, we can have a maximum of 50 characters. Now, if the name of a customer is only five characters long, we only store those five characters. So even though the maximum length for this column is 50, we are not going to waste space if the customer's name is less than 50 characters. That is why here we have varchar, which is short for variable. In contrast, we have another data type that is character. If you had character 50 here and the name of the customer was only five characters long, MySQL would insert additional 45 spaces to fill this column. So this is a waste of space. So as a best practice, most of the time we use varchar to store string or textual values. Now here on the right side, we have this column PK, which is short for primary key. So customer ID is marked as the primary key, and that is why we have this yellow key here. So the values in this column uniquely identify each customer. Next to that, we have NN, which is short for not null, and that determines if this column can accept null values or not. In this case, every customer record must have the customer ID, first name, last name, as well as these other attributes. But birth date and phone are optional. So in these columns, we can have null values. Now we have another column here, AI, which is short for auto increment. And this is often used with primary key columns. So every time we insert a new record in this table, we let MySQL or our database engine insert a value in this column. So essentially it gets the customer ID for the last row and it will increment it by one at the time we insert a new record. So if you look at the data, you can see that currently we have only 10 customers here. So if you add a new customer here, MySQL will assign 11 to the new customer, okay? And finally, here we have another column that specifies the default value for each column. For example, for our birth date and phone columns, the default values are null. So if we don't supply a value, MySQL will use the null values for these columns. Similarly, we have another default value for the points column. So if we don't supply the points for a customer, MySQL will use zero. Now we have a few other columns here which are not important at this stage. You will learn about them later in the course. So now that you understand the attributes of each column in this table, let's go ahead and insert data into this table. 